Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Romance of the Three Kingdoms 14. I'm the Serious JG. I'm having a good time, but I probably need to call it a session after this video. Um, question that I've asked you guys to ponder this week, which I may or may not have to make a decision about this, although I'm not rushing to decide. Who do you think would be, a, uh, I don't know, you can say effective, you can say fun. Excuse me. But we're heading for having um, an AI controlled district where I just put a couple of cities under AI control. I would think right now I would put a couple of the westernmost cities under AI control. Probably not have a lot of progress made out here, but it would have fewer things for me to concentrate on. If I just gave them enough officers to grow their cores, um, I could concentrate on Liu Bei. Uh, and then I'd have to make, once I get rid of Liu Bei, uh, basically, once I Kong Rong Liu Bei, Kong Rong is not somebody I'm worried about, but it's it's a logical thing to take care of. Um, if Liu Bu survives uh, Yuan Shao's current attacks uh, and he's still a viable force north of the river, I won't care about him either, other than maybe wanting Guo Jia and Liu Bu himself. But if I can take these four cities, um, Beihai, Puyang. Jiao Pei and uh, Jia Pi, I would need to either uh, start sucking up to Sun Tzu to keep the peace going there, or I'd want to, um, because things move slowly with me uh, microing all these turns, but eventually he's going to have plot events where all of these cities become his, and these like he's going to have story events where Yan Bai Hu and... Um, where is he? Wang Lang just collapsed and, and are absorbed into Sun Tzu land. Um, I'll have to decide, do I want to deal with Sun Tzu? Or do, like, because I'm caught between the two great rivers, right? There's two main rivers. I don't know what they were called in this era. They're, today they're the Yellow River, the Huang He and the Yangtze. Uh, I'll have the, the, the central plains between those two great rivers of China. And I'll basically need to decide, do I want to go north or south? Particularly if I decide to leave an AI force in control over in the west, just holding against these forces and not losing anything to them. Because uh, I would be like, oh, let's take out our brother. <laughs> Particularly if uh, he's unified the north. But I'm, I'm thinking way, way far ahead. Probably what I would actually want to do is maybe grab, you know, completely usurp the emperor, and then figured out from there. I could, I could once I hold Chang'an and Luoyang and all these cities, I'd probably just like kept like a five or six city, like big district here, give them a lot of officers and set them to destroy Ma Tang. And if they manage to do that while I'm still hanging out in the east, then from there set them to destroy uh, Liu Zhang. Liu Zhang, I, I keep assuming, I'm assuming Liu Zhang or perhaps, per possibly, uh, Xi Ji, but probably oh, he's got Nobunaga, but probably Liu Zhang will be the last force to fall. Liu Zhang is usually the last force to fall unless you start out in the southwest, because it's just a bunch of really geographically remote cities. Jian Neng, it's, it's a garbage city in the swamps, according to this game. Like I believe, I it's in the region of China that's bordering like Vietnam. Not to say that Vietnam is a garbage place, I'm just saying that, like, yeah, this is... It's really the outskirts of what was considered part of... Well, it's not even... That's not even their most remote city. It would be uh, Yunnan. But yeah, it's, like, barely considered China, and uh, you're really getting into that, like, Southeast Asian jungle, um, and uh, it never develops into the city that, like, the capitals of ancient China, which are mostly in the Northern Plains, is going to develop into. That's what I'm trying to get to. Not trying to not trying to start some shit about Vietnam, um, but no, in the, it's, there was no cities in Vietnam in this era of history that would rival one of the great cities of China. It just wasn't, you know, no. Now you probably need new orders, don't you? Um, let's have you go here, then. Here. Here, then here, 
And again, I'm still hopeful that... This is all based on the belief that she won't... We won't be at war with Liu Bei, and she will be allowed to continue this. But, um... We've oh, we still almost almost we've got most more than half almost half of uh, this zone. I assume Frox's knee lock is in charge because she's good at oh what am I doing I'm out of orders. I got to this point specifically so that I could uh, end the turn. Hmm. Got more than one thing we want to keep an eye on though. Square. All right, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. All right. I don't know who to focus on, so let's pull the. Let's keep the camera back. Oh, who am I kidding? Nothing is going to happen on this turn over there for our forces. We'll see if anything changes in Zhu Huang and Li Jui. We were successful in lowering the morale of Liu Bei Army's Guan Yu unit by 20 through our strategy. We successfully lowered the morale of Liu Bei's Zhang Fei unit by 18. And now I just want to see... Toll Panzer can still escape. Um... Oh, that's a transport unit. No, two an emissary from Liu Qi army has arrived. See, they are going to build us up to friendly just by... They want us to be friendly because they don't want us to finish them off. Lord Yuan Chu, I have come today on behalf of my Lord Liu Qi. Thank you for coming. Thanks for coming, brother. What do you want today? I brought you a gift. Please accept it. This is not bad for us. I see no issue in accepting the gift. Uh, yep, we'll take it. We also wish for a friendship between us and Liu Qi army. We shall happily accept your gift. I'm truly grateful you decided to accept our gift. And we are friendly. I don't think they'll be able to... Uh... I don't know that we're catching up with them. I also don't know if we are going to... The Yuki army is clearly advancing on our... Territory of Yanping Gate, we need a plan immediately. I should have checked the other uh, information things. Well, hold on. If Guan Yu is stupid enough to attack Puyang directly while Zhang Fei is in combat with. Gaoshun. 448-1138. Shang Fei's got a better unit, but they're both really weakened. And Zhang Fei's got less uh, morale. Of course, he's cut himself off from his food. I don't think uh, I don't think Guan Yu is going to be able to take Pu Yang by himself. I think we might be getting Pu Yang unless Xiao P marches out something right now and gets there faster because they've got roads. They still got water to deal with. They've got this little land bridge here. We're going to have to get uh, a tower unit, a uh, catapult unit. I should have made him take a ram. Why is oh, his condition is blue leaf? I guess red leaf means they're out of supplies. I don't freaking know. Yeah. Okay. I'm not sure that you're catching up with those, um... I don't, I don't know if you're catching up with that, uh... That unit there, but... Maybe we will go towards May. Avoiding the camp.
because they will uh, they will make our lives difficult if they come through this path. Oh, that's a thing to, to bear in mind. They are... I didn't think about that. They're going to take some of our zones on the way. So Yangping Gate might have a big army now, but uh, unless we march out of it and try to stop them, which is probably what we should do. Alright. I didn't think about that. Insufficient soldiers. Oh, I messed this up. I messed this up. Okay, I mean, I can definitely hole up here, but I'm going to lose Chian. Yeah, I'm going to lose Qian. I should have marched troops out of Hanjiang. I wasn't thinking about it like that. I figure I, I didn't know that we had hexes out beyond there. Okay. Well, I mean, maybe they'll turn around uh, to deal with... Uh, they got really low morale, though, Panzer Toll's unit. But, I mean, if they're not facing any resistance... We'll have to see what happens. You guys won't won't arrive in time. Should not have marched those troops out of there. That was a mistake. Now why can't why can't we march out of here? He's the only unit that I've got, and he can only direct three thousand troops. Send Jun Yu. He's got leadership of 73. And he can direct up to 8,000. This is what I'm going to have to do. Send Jun Yu. And he will march out with 8,000, which should be enough to stop Zhu Huang. Not ideal, but he should be able to stop Xu Huang. The problem is going to be he, they'll probably take Qian, but hopefully they won't like tear the place down completely. Yeah, I don't feel like they were being that aggressive against Zhang Lu, but they don't like me very much, do they? You've already got what you're doing. change this slightly. Wait, what? make sure that there's no way that uh, territory swallows up behind Cao Cao and cuts off the food. Okay. Meanwhile, Cao Cao is still just ordered to march straight for Li Hu. Uh, boy. Alright. Let's 
Shenley Yu, we should have switched away from commerce a while ago, but it didn't, so when it gets closer to level 3, I need to switch away. You guys are doing fine. Keep up the good work. This place has 11. Which I think is it's set up how it's set up at this point. You guys got like one new officer. Yeah, I need to switch you, but wait till you've got one more advancement in commerce. Check that one out, losing my mind. All right. Minkwit and Shang Yong is probably a good idea. Well, no. We need them in these newer cities. Ruin the order of GFP with 400 gold. I really don't... I wish that suggestion came up more often, sabotage, but I don't really want to mess with them now because it'll decrease our relation, which is already at hostile, and I'm trying not to get them to go to war with me right away. Seven officers. Uh, loyalty increase. That's good. Commerce, 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 agriculture, agriculture, investment. Our son asked us to do something. I didn't even read what it was. <laughs> Lu Meng, you like book learning? Okay, but never mind. We haven't got any new tomes. So we can spend all of our gold here. Let's not do that. Let's instead get this Chen Jiu, this jerk. I am curious, what is his deal? Who is he? Because he... Suborn of Huang Zhu, and Huang Zhu was attacked by Sun Xuan. Oh, I already read this. Yeah, it's just some guy. <laughs> I don't understand why I'm sweating him. Alright, so when Jun Yu gets here, he's going to march out of Yanping Gate with about 8,000 troops and shut this down. And in the meantime. We'll continue to just keep searching the crap out of Chen Liu. He's an insightful recruiter. Check um, Samuel Parr is a little occupied, isn't he? He's not even in that city. Maybe you can even get uh, Guan Yu to pull back and attack you, and then Guan Yu can retreat. 
Oh, we got uh, Liu, Liu Ling Ki is coming out along with Liu Bu himself. That got a little confusing. So Liu Ling Ki came out and was immediately defeated. Gao Shun, I don't know what his orders were, but he backed away. Shang Fei got away from him. Now these guys are supporting each other against Liu Bu. This is actually pretty epic. Lu Bu has personally taken the field to fight the Sworn Brothers, minus Liu Bei, of course, um, who have defeated his daughter, it looks like. It's Lu Bu, I'm not letting him get away. No, but they are not going to take the city here. Li Jui, you want to be forces marching towards the Anping Gate? We have to do something? I keep doing that. I keep meaning to read those. So right now, Jiao Pei isn't sending anyone else. Well, for one thing, because if they did, I could march out of Shochun. And probably should march out of Shochun if they were to send anyone out. I need to take him out eventually. I'm just kind of putting it off. Because um, now I'm fixated on getting rid of... Uh... Well, they're not moving that rapidly, but I still think they're going to get there before we can. Ah, boy. Are these jerks and they're attacking in ping gate so they're gonna get in the way goose if you stay calm and collected you will be able to goose excellent for long range attacks but defense is low and enemies cannot be captured during field battles Brain, suitable for area suppression and vanguards. Not ideal. Um, so this would be 600 plus 95. Okay, this would be 300. Less than 300 defense, high assault. This would be good defense. Yeah, Crane is going to be better overall. Restrained applies restrained disorder. Let's go with Crane. Let's go with the max troop count, because nothing is actually going to get to us. Goose has got better attack. Which one has better maneuver? Crane does. And then Tower obviously has terrible maneuver, but it's not really being considered here. Because he's got... He's going to have better overall st uh, stats. But he's not going to um, be able to wipe out a unit twice his size that has decent stats, I wouldn't think. Especially if we're able to use tactics, which I definitely would want to try to use. Follow me, everyone. We're sure to be successful. I'm also leaving some troops, not many, in Yanping Gate. If somehow... Yeah, this is basically means that, like, fucking Ma Chao and Ma Tang aren't going to be able to take the gate while I'm dealing with these jerks. And even if they all, even if they just slow them down, it might be enough to allow Tol Panja to come up from behind, where the best surprise always sneak up, of course. Um... Meanwhile, we're like developing these places more than they were ever developed before. <laughs> Which I guess is just what happens when you develop them at all. Durr. Alright. So many 
many places that I wish would develop faster. Well, all of them really, I suppose, when I put it like that. many folks. Just this jerk just always needs more gold. To the point where I really need to think about whether it makes sense to keep giving it to him. Gold has almost run out here, so I really can't do that much. Um, yeah, I gotta back off in the banquets. This is actually, it's 900 gold, but it's a good way to use it. Getting rid of the morale of Zhu Huang's unit if I'm trying to keep that uh, gate. Investment. I don't know what these 100 golds of investment do, but... But conceptually, they're good. The Rizza will deliver. Can I? S I, I think you might be able to search first by that and then by Overseer, right? No. It's just by this. Okay. Or maybe it did make a difference. Because it seemed like all of the... Yeah, they were all at the end. Maybe there is a way to uh, be smarter about some of this. people in Shochun not working than I realized. Yeah, that actually works. We just got good results from Vulture Bobo. I'm not sure. Oh, he's the training overseer. That's why he's free. Alright, this actually works. If I'd found this earlier, because I know I've talked about not bothering with searching anymore, but if I'd found this earlier... Just sort by that, sort by that, and sort twice here. There might even be a slightly more efficient way to do that in button presses, but... It's even just making the the uh, training guy be the last overseer listed. I don't know if we have any extras here, but but if we do, they're located at the bottom. Oh, Yang Ren's actually recommended. Extra guys here. Search hang maybe we got extra guys at Hang Zhang. should be able to do it. Shenba. Shenba. Alright, let's uh... Is this transport gonna get to uh... Xu Chang with gold, or has that already happened and I've burned through all the gold already? I think that's the answer. I think I already burned through all the gold in Xu Chang. Oh, 
well. Not supplies, I want gold. There's no, uh... There's no market in Juchang. I was, that had been there for a while. I was getting used to it. Alright, let's uh, take some gold out of here. A Ledeon. There's probably... You're probably already an overseer or something, aren't you? Yeah. You don't need to be you. Let's get somebody who's not being an overseer. Everybody's not being an overseer active because of the search command. All right, um, that was silly. But I've gotten to the position that I like to be at at the end of a video, where when we start the next video, we'll be ready immediately for action. I'm Sirius JG. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you'll join me next time. Um, I'm going to try to take a little break from the game and give you guys a chance to get partially caught up. But next time, we'll be we're basically committed now to attempting to attack Lubu and take one of his cities. We'll have to see if um, if Liu Bei looks like he's going to take the city first, we'll back off. It would be nice if Yuan Shao took his city to the north first because then we'd capture all of Liu Bu's officers. But I do want to just take... I'm, I'm more concerned about taking the cities than the officers. Zhang Liao would be good to have. Um, oh, blanking on his name. Um, Chen Gong, the uh, advisor who, you know, was part of the whole Liu Bai Shi incident. Lu Ling Ki is fun to have just because it's nice to have some of the, the, the female characters who aren't created officers, but, um, and Lu Bu himself. Who, uh, Yuan Shu would keep. Like, I, in the past, I might have been role playing as somebody who wouldn't keep Lu Bu. Yeah, Yuan Shu would keep Lu Bu in his army. Um, and be shocked if Lu Bu were to betray him. Anyway, when we come back next time, guys, um, stuff's afoot, and both in the East and the West. See you then.